It's time for the first of our 12 visits to Acorn Antiques, Manchesterford's favourite antique shop. And after last Friday's exciting cliffhanger, let's see if they're any further on with mending that umbrella stand. <laughs> Can I help you? No, I'm afraid he's out buying antiques. Who is it calling? <laughs> Rowena? Won't you wait? Hello? Hello? Darn. Oh, sorry, Mrs. Overall. Here's your coffee, Miss Babs. <laughs> What's wrong now? Oh, nothing. Just a rather mysterious phone call from the Far East. Well, sometimes that's God's way of telling you to think on and look sharp. <laughs> You're right. God, I am awful. Here I am blabbing away about my own troubles and I forgot to ask you about your husband's car crash. Oh, he's dead, Miss Pabs. <laughs> yes, in fact, I was going to ask you if I could have a couple of hours off on Thursday for the funeral. Of course. Just pop back at five for the hoovering. What happened? His heart stopped beating. <laughs> Yes, well, sometimes that's God's way of telling you you're dead. <laughs> Never mind, it's bingo tonight. <laughs> Mr. Tony's not down yet? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not like him. He's not having a nervous breakdown, is he? <laughs> to tell you the truth, Mrs. Overall, we had a huge row last night. He put the triplets in the woolsey and I haven't seen him since. Oh, men. <laughs> Well, better get on and dust a few antiques. <laughs> uh, well, they say things go in threes. Why? Whatever's happened now? You forgot my sweetener. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just bring your antiques in. Bye. Babs. <laughs> bored with Zurich? Or did Zurich get bored with you? You always did ask a good question. <laughs> but did I ever get a good answer? You look well. Answering the phone in the family antiques business seems to suit you. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. Babs. Can't we? We? Who's we, Clifford? There might have been a wee before you left me by the handbags in a well-known store. Don't say any more. I love you, Babs. I've changed, Clifford. I have triplets now. something I haven't told you. I go bell ringing on Wednesday nights. 